cedar value is going to be you know beneficial on so many levels not only help the local economies around Rockport uh, the ecosystems out here but it's also going to make a tremendous fishing destination uh, for all the coastal fishermen the pass is finally going to be put back to its original state which hasn't been done since 1979 um, so I think that is going to be a huge benefit to this area. As a youngster years ago back in the early 60s when it was open we had a lot of fun but and we had a lot of fish that came through. People were here and you could catch a lot of, lot, lot of trout, a lot of redfish, a lot of flounder. It was excellent, the best I've ever seen. Since then it, it, it's filled in and uh, it's, year after year it's gotten worse. When this opens up, Cedar Ball going into Mesquite Bay, the trout the shrimp, the crabs, it's going to make such a big difference. In, in, a, in a matter of a few months, it's going to make a difference. So logistically, what you're standing on right now, if you look in line, you will see that the dredge is right in the middle of it. So where we're at in 20 days, 30 days, will be channel. What you're looking at is the width and the side slopes of what the channel dimensions are. This channel is dug to grade right here. So you'll have this type of channel that will go for 17,300 linear feet of this to dig. We're digging, we started here digging going this way so that our trucks can access back toward the area that's allowed for a right of way to get to the gulf going that way. We started on the other end doing the same thing coming back so that we have a pinch point as we come along we're in a V and at that V is where our right of way takes off to go to the gulf. This part will be dug down to that V. The other side will be dug coming down to that V. And that way we keep our right of way open and available for us to be able to get to the Gulf. Then the remainder of, of, of Cedar Bio as we dig, we'll utilize the right of way that comes down and goes along the Gulf Beach to access the spoil areas. The dredge will keep digging this away as we get Vincent Slough dug completely out. The trucks will come in and start digging Cedar Bio out until we get to this junction then the dredge will float and go around to the piece of Vincent Slough that it has to go dig about 2,000 feet on the far end. In 2010, I talked to the Colonel Corps of Engineers and he said uh, he'd like to come down and take a look at the project, at which time he did and declared Cedar Bio Vincent Slough a national treasure that needed to be opened like Mother Nature had it. So uh, the following year we, we obtained the permit and uh, Thank God the CCA and, and partnered up with us and with that you can see what's happened. We, we have other partners and, and the project's being done. We've had uh, some great partners that help us put this project together with uh, uh, Ranges County, Texas Parks and Wildlife and the General Land Office and uh, we couldn't be more excited uh, about having Cedar Bayou opened. It first started with the judge getting the permit. Um, and then after that, uh, we met with the judge, CCA did, and uh, started forming the partnerships uh, to raise the funds to, uh, to get the project done. We've been able to become more and more involved in these uh, hard structure actual projects out there. And uh, I think our memberships responded greatly to that effort. Uh, it's really nice to be able to see uh, something that you help pay for. Uh, we've got a larva culture lab at University of Texas. Uh, we've got a Sport Fish Research Center at A&M Corpus Christi. We have Sea Center Texas, which is the hatchery uh, down in Lake Jackson and the hatchery in Corpus. And those are just a small sampling of the things we've done over the past 20 years, and uh, particularly in the past 10 years. And then Cedar Bio, in our opinion, is kind of the crown jewel project. There's a, it's an iconic pass. It rings very deeply with anglers in this part of the world. Uh, Cedar Bio, it's a legendary place to fish. CCA has contributed 1.6 million dollars to this project and, uh, and all those funds have come from our local chapter banquets and our volunteers raising those dollars. So it's just a tremendous effort on everybody's part. We'll always be there to support uh, the project and, and uh, help identify funds, raise funds uh, to, to keep, the pro keep the pass open. It's all going to change. It's all going to be clean water, clean sand, and I think it's going to make a big difference with our fishing in this whole area, the Ranzas County area, all the way to Mud Island just about, and all the way to 
San Antonio Bay. So it, it's, it's, it's going to help the hooping cranes. It's going to help everything we have in these, in these waters. You know, this, uh, this is one of the, the, the true treasures of the coast when this pass is open. Uh, that surf is probably one of the best fishing areas uh, on the Texas coast. And uh, I can't wait to see it open for me personally to be able to uh, utilize again. But I know there's a lot of CCA members and Texas fishermen that are waiting to do the same. It's a, it's a great feeling and it's good for everybody in Aransas County and, and the state of Texas. I believe in around the country that a lot of Cedar Bay is well known for a great fishing hole and in the future uh, it's going to be phenomenal what it's going to do for the ecosystem of the bays here.